I'm in Madison, Indiana. Behind me is uh, the home of Jeremiah Sullivan. He was an early politician and judge here in Madison. And um, his house is a museum, so I'm gonna go check that out. And you can see the house is very long with this portico going back. Jeremiah Sullivan was born in 1794 in Harrisonburg, Virginia, the son of an Irish immigrant father who moved to Western Virginia. Sullivan went to the College of William and Mary, then served in the War of 1812, after which he studied law in Virginia. Like many, he saw there was much opportunity in the West, and he planned to establish himself in Louisville, but he heard of the small town with a lot of potential, Madison, Indiana, and decided to settle there. He built this home in 1818. It is probably the first brick mansion in the Northwest Territory and is now 200 years old. It is a great example of federal architecture. Once settled into Madison, the first governor of Indiana, Jonathan Jennings, almost immediately appointed him as the prosecuting attorney in Madison. Three years after moving to Madison, he was elected to the state legislature. During this time, they were planning on moving the state capital from Corridon to a more centralized location, and he coined the name for the new capital city, Indianapolis. He was also a justice of the Supreme Court of Indiana from 1836 to 1846. He was also the judge of Jefferson County, and he died in 1870. This is the formal dining room. the informal dining room. This room would have also been used for some food preparation despite having two other kitchens. This is what mouse traps used to look like. And what they would do is they would heat a brick, put it under here, Close it, let it get a little bit warm before they put the child in it, and they would have an opportunity to, to keep a little bit warm. The home has its own weaving room. This coverlet has the alphabet on it. These were a way people would learn to read. A cross section of the building to see the plaster on wood, which makes up the interior walls. This is Sullivan's bedchamber. It has a really interesting wall with cabinets. I also like the color of it. That was the Sullivan's in-home bathtub. That is the childhood chair of descendant Reginald Sullivan, who was born in 1876 and was the mayor of Indianapolis from 1930 to 1935, then 1939 to 1943, and he lived to be 104 years old. Mysterious shoes that were found in the attic. Apparently that's a thing to find random shoes hidden in the attics of historic homes. Now into the basement. This was the winter kitchen. It's one of few examples of a really old cellar kitchen in the state.
The basement is also filled with all sorts of antiques similar to the objects the family may have stored down there. I found a toad. This was the well. A reconstruction of the summer kitchen and oven. The wealthy would build summer kitchens because it got so hot during the summer and having a kitchen also made it more hot in the home and it also increased the chance of a fire. It was also used as a smokehouse to store their meats. All right, so that's a really cool house. I uh, really enjoyed going there. Um, if you like this video, please check out my other videos here at uh, Historic Houses here in Madison and uh, all my other videos while you're at that. Thank you for watching.